three common mistakes with shadow boxing. So the very first mistake that I want to talk about is not fully extending your arms. When we box, sometimes we're hitting a target like a heavy bag or a focus mitt and the focus mitt or the heavy bag will stop the punch. So we're so used to just punching here. What you want to try and do is you want to fully extend. You want to feel a stretch through your arms, through your lats as you're shadow boxing. You want to fully extend. So it's critical that you focus on that. The second mistake when it comes to shadow boxing is to see your hands. If I have my chin down, but I see my hands, what am I doing? I'm fighting a child, right? That is wrong. What I want to try and do is I want to make my, my hands invisible. If I can see my hands, what's wrong? My chin is up. This is no good. So my hands should be invisible, invisible to me. At no point in time should I see my hands, right? We're enamored with seeing it. Right? That is totally wrong. The third mistake when it comes to shadow boxing is not visualizing an opponent. When you're shadow boxing, you want to see that opponent in front of you. They are counter punching you. You are moving around. You are, you are dealing with their, with their attempts to attack you. It is not just you throwing straight lefts and straight rights into the air. You want to as vividly as possible see strikes coming at you and you are defending, you are countering, and you are attacking. And you want to go and recreate that sparring experience in your head. So that was three common mistakes with shadow boxing.